Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to hang out in between videos, come check out the Discord. We're also doing exclusive content over on Patreon. We're finishing up Queendom 2. We're doing Mamamoo TV Season 6 right now, as well as Hotel de Luna. Red, Le Red Velvet Level Up Project Season 2 is on the free tier, and Moo Moo Trip. Today, though, we are doing some of our Rolling Quartz uh, collabs. We have four collaboration songs to get through today, um, two with Alexa and two with some other artists that I'm not familiar with. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. All right. So first up, we have a song called Extra uh, by Alexa and Rolling Courts, which is the exclusive rock version. Uh, yeah, let's go. Alexa, and this is MTV Jammin. Today I have a special performance for you. It is the rock version of my latest song, Extra. Not only is it just the extra song itself, but a rock version that I collab with the Korean girl rock band Rolling Chords. Our fans were always like, when are you guys gonna collab? So we finally made it happen, and we're very pleased with the product. The girls are incredibly talented, so please check them out, and I hope you guys enjoy the rock version of Extra. Nice. Okay. I'm getting a little like beastie voice kind of vibe. I was born to please, yeah. All my burgers and my fries always extra cheese, yeah. Uh, the nigga boot a one, the crew to chat. I got music for you. They do have a sound that goes together really well. Okay, okay. So I think the cool thing about that is Ja Young and Alexa have like very different tones, right? Ja Young's uh, like natural tone is much deeper and like uh, very soulful. And Alexa's is a little on the higher side. And because of that, their harmony works really, really well together. And they kind of fill out the song in different ends of the spectrum in a really cool way. Um, I think it's 
really it feels like they are in a band right together it feels like they fit together as uh members of the same group which is really uh quite something for having just a collab effort together um it's a fun song like i said i think the beginning rap feels a little bit kind of like beasties beastie boys ish and then it gets a little more heavier into like the rock vibe of things and and a little bit of uh pop punk as well um like maybe it's got a like a little bit of a paramore feel here and there um yeah i really like that so i i imagine that alexa has a, another version of that song extra uh that isn't you know a rock version um i'm curious to see how that would be but i think this uh collaboration came out really really well all right next up i believe they are doing alexa and uh rolling courts are doing a mashup of pink venom and mic drop from blackpink and bts okay Okay. It's like a completely different song than either of them. I read. All right. Okay. Okay. So I've listened to Pink Venom quite a lot, right? Like I could see the parts of it that were Pink Venom. I was missing where the mic drop part was. Maybe it was in the instrumental. Like maybe that was part of it. I heard like I think one part of the vocal verse that was part of mic drop. 
because uh, I didn't recognize it from um, Pink Venom. Um, but either way, right, like this sounded like a completely different song. It sounded like a Rolling Court song and Alexa um, as well. But like, I think the thing that really stood out to me on this uh, one that they did together is that that felt a little missing on the other one was the guitar solos. Um, it doesn't quite feel like a Rolling Court song unless you get that kind of standout moment for the instrumentation as well as the vocals. Uh, so it was really cool to see Irie and Hyunjung get like a really solid standout moment uh, in this one. All right, next up we have uh, them with a Kim Jang Hoon uh, Ice on Fire comeback. So I think they're featuring on his track for this one. gives a much softer vibe to their sound, uh, which is interesting. He's a bit of a comedian, isn't he? Um, yeah, they had some good chemistry. I think Ja Young and uh, Kim Jong Hoon were having some fun with that one. Uh, it really felt like the two of them gelled pretty well. Um, like I said, though, I think he softens their sound a little bit, right? Like it doesn't feel nearly as heavy um, as some of their more rock inspired tracks. Uh, and not that that's a bad thing, but it's a very different sound for them, right? Because uh, it's just 
a lot more harmony, a lot more... Um, he's just got a softer tone in his voice. He doesn't have nearly as much grit or rasp. Um, and he doesn't even have, like... It almost feels like Jai Young's tone is deeper than his in a lot of spots. Um, which is interesting, too. Because uh, that's not something you usually get with a male and female vocal, is that the female vocal is a little on the deeper side uh, than the males. And all in all, a really cool song. I, I don't know if it's like uh, one that I would put on a playlist for myself, um, just because it is a little more on the relaxed side for what I tend to listen to rolling chords for. Um, but I dig it. And it was a fun performance to see live. They were having a good time. with it. All right, last up, we have a song called Random between an artist called 015B and Rolling Courts. I don't know anything about the other artists, so let's find out. Sing it, Jai Young.
couple of things there, right? Uh, I do wonder if like maybe 015B is like the brand that makes this kind of style of art, or maybe if they were also like a part of writing the lyrics or producing the song. Um, not really sure where they fit into that, but um, Rolling, this might be one of the most impressive vocally songs that I've heard from Rolling Courts. Uh, John Young's voice just sounded so, so good there. Um, and then it was like, it started out very chill with that acoustic vibe. And then when it kicks into the higher gear, it's just like a really, I, I put this in the kind of vibe with reminiscence as just a, a ch and maybe red wine as like a chiller rolling chord song, but uh, has a really nice feel to it. I think this is, we just keep getting different sides of them. Um, and I'm really excited to see what they do next because it feels like they're just continually pushing the boundary of what they can do with their rock sound. And that's really, really cool. All right. That's going to do it for this round of collaborations with Rolling Courts. Till next time. Love you.